this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Ammo Manufacturer has promised to keep up with demand. But, you know, a lot of people is very hesitant right now since the ammo pandemic to go out shooting and stuff. Because the ammo prices is going up. Let's talk about it. <laughs> what up? This is Dish Channel Guns coming to another gun video. Appreciate you watching, like, sharing, and subscribe. So I want to appreciate all my subscribers. I want to appreciate all the good information. I appreciate y'all for coming to the video. Appreciate all the support. Appreciate y'all supporting the first time buyer and the new people in the gun community and stuff. I appreciate everybody supporting the two-way challenge, the gun challenge. We need all the support we can, people. Also, a huge shout out to y'all that come over here every single day, smashing the like button, sharing on your favorite social media platform. I appreciate the ones following me on Gunstreamer, TikTok, and all my other channels and stuff out there. I appreciate that. And a huge shout out to y'all to come over here every single day through the good and the bad and ups and downs. Nothing moves in straight line, people. So we're going to get into it. Um, you already know what time it is. So ammo, ammo, ammo time, people. Ammo is a new goal. Like I said before, gold is going down. Ammo is continuing going up. And, you know, ammo, ammo is more than what a lot of people thought. I'm talking about, you know, the conversation, you know, around the water fountain when it comes to ammo is, is pretty much has, you know, blown a lot of people's minds. And I've been saying this since day one, if you've been listening to me. Uh, to my, there's more to ammo than a lot of people. You know, ammo is starting to take a mental effect on a whole lot of people, especially the cost of ammo. And, you know, a lot of times, you know, people, when it comes to, you know, ammo for a long time, you know, 12 cent around, 15 cent around and stuff like that, you know, 20 cent on up. But, you know, we're looking at a dollar round, people, a dollar round. And that really start to, you know, to really get into people's head, you know, like, you know, if I'm going to go out and, and shoot a whole box of ammo, I'm basically, you know, shooting a dollar down the barrel every time. And, you know, I talked about this before, but to a lot of people, that really hits home. I'm talking about, you know, when it was like 12, 15 cent around, 18 cent around, something like that. No big deal, people. You know, you're talking pennies versus now. We're talking about a whole dollar and own up, you know, to a lot of ammo. And it depends on where you're getting that because the ammo gouging is serious. So I'm talking about, you know, the ranges, shooting ranges and stuff. It really have affected, you know, the way people basically come and shoot now. Now, when you see people shooting, I'm talking about, you know, I, I used to go to the range, you know, a long time ago, and you'll see buckets of ammo. I'm talking about people just just going down and going down the range, just letting it go, letting it go, letting it go. I'm talking about, you know, and then you have some people who would take the time, load like maybe five or six in the in the magazine, you know, aim, you know, really putting, you know, energy into what they're doing, focus on their sights and stuff. Really trying to, you know, the narrow in on the target and everything. I'm talking about, you know, it, but things have changed, people. You know, because like I said, the mindset, especially when you're looking at ammo prices, a dollar now, dollar per round, totally different now. You you look at the range now, totally different. Nobody's going and zipping rounds down the range, just, you know, not, uh, not no more. So now you have people really taking their time. Some people loading four or five rounds, you know, in the magazine and just taking their time and sighting up. That, I'm talking about, I have seen huge changes, people. I'm talking about a 50-round box of ammo. I'm talking about, I'm saying a 50-round 50 a 50 round box of ammo back then, you know, before all this stuff happened, would be gone within pretty much a few minutes, people. I'm talking about a few minutes at the range with 50 rounds. I say within the first five, eight minutes, 10 minutes or something, this will all be gone. I'm talking about compared to where I used to see people shooting. They just load up their magazine to full capacity and they're just squeezing off, squeezing off, squeezing off. Load it up again. This box, this this 50 rounds will be gone with no time. Not no more people. People are taking their time. They're loading five. Five in the magazine and just, you know, squeezing off very slowly, really putting energy in what they're doing. And they're making 50 rounds last, people. I'm talking about making it, making their, the, the, the best out of their 50 round. You know, so, you know, it's been, it's been some huge changes and everything. But, you know, I've been saying this a long time. I'm talking about, like I said, now when people look at their ammo, they're looking at dollars. They're not looking at cents no more. And so that's why you're seeing things starting to slow down and stuff like that, especially when it comes to people just shooting and stuff. I'm talking about, I talk to people all the time. They, I'm talking about, they, they, I'm talking about shoot one round, it takes a effect on them for some reason. I'm talking about because how much they're spending on it and everything. So I'm talking about, I hope that during this pandemic, a lot of people learned a lot. I'm talking about a lot of people really, you know, start to see that ammo is very precious. I'm talking about, like I said, gold is going down, ammo is going up. 
because for a long time, a lot of people couldn't understand why people was pretty much, you know, we was preparing ourselves, buying this stuff, keeping it, storing it and stuff like that, building our numbers and stuff up where we are comfortable and stuff, where we can keep doing all these things that we're doing. Now, to the new people coming in, guess what? This dollar is going to take a serious mental effect on them versus, you know, going shooting. For the ones who bought the ammo when it was very cheap, um, you know, 18 cent, 20 cent around, 30, if 28, 28, 5, you know, 25, whatever the case may be. Guess what? I'm talking about they still can go out and they're still going to shoot and enjoy themselves. And that is the difference that I tell people, you know, the difference with the new people coming in and the people who's been prepared, been saving the ammo for a long time. It's a totally different, you know, um, situation. So at the range, I don't see a lot of new people who just bought ammo and stuff. I'm seeing older people who is pretty much had pretty much stocked up their ammo over years and everything, pretty much having fun, enjoying themselves and stuff. But it's going to take a while for the new people coming in. I know a lot of people don't talk about this and stuff. But there is, it's out there, people. And I'm talking to people, new people coming in, it's just not going to go out there and just start shooting and stuff like that for what they had to go through to get the ammo. The only people I'm seeing at the range now, every now and then I might see a new shooter, but majority of them are long-term shooters and stuff who've been, you know, stocking the ammo. They pretty much um, reload and stuff like that and join themselves, people. They have no worry what ammo prices and stuff is. So, you know, I, I, I'm i talking about this because of certain comments I was getting and stuff like that. And I hope that I answer some of the questions, but that is a mental thing going on there when it comes to ammo. This pandemic has changed a lot of people's mindset when it comes to ammo. And it changed a lot of things when it comes to ammo. And we're gonna continue over here trying to, you know, just you know, just get you out of this old ammo mindset and get you into this new ammo mindset. Because the old ammo mindset is pretty much, you know, um, you know, you buy it, you go shoot it and stuff like that. Now, this new ammo mindset that we have to be very careful what we do with our ammo and how we, you know, use it and stuff. We can't just go out and I'm guilty for this. I'll be the first one to tell you. I used to go out and just just go through some ammo and stuff like that. And I'm not even doing it now. I'm talking about, you know, I'm kind of, you know, taking my time, really focus on what I'm doing when you're going to shoot, you know, go shooting and stuff like that. And a lot of people are doing that. Even, you know, have, you know, people who've been preparing for a long time, they're doing it too. But there are some differences at the range versus new people and older people who pretty much prepared and got plenty of ammo. So, uh, to my, you're going to see that, people. Um, uh, to my, it's going to be mixed all the way through and everything. But, you know, someone want to know, you know, why is it that you have older people, not really older people, but you have people been into a community a long time, still out shooting and stuff, but new people is not doing it. It's because of what the situation they came into. And the new people came into a situation where ammo was pretty much like gold and, and and the price is pretty much skyrocketed. So it's going to be hard for them to detach themselves from how much they spent to go out there and enjoy themselves and shoot and stuff like that. But at the same time, people, you can't put a price on your life. I'm talking about a dollar around. You can't put a price on debt. I'm talking about, if, you know, it's with three or four dollars. You can't put a price on it, especially when it comes to protecting yourself and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, people, ammo has changed the way that people are using it now and people are taking a lot of precaution out there so i kind of want to just get into it a little bit i got more coming and stuff with the debt but i just want to kind of kind of go through that i could be up here all day talking about that i know some of y'all got some more ideas and, and stuff like that when it comes to this but just want to get into that this is dc channel guns and i'll catch you on the next one this is dc channel guns like and subscribe thank you for watching